What is up, Light Fighters and fellow gear nerds? Thank you for tuning in. This is Light Fighters Anonymous, and it is a beautiful, windy fall day. And I do not have too many backpacks. You have too many backpacks. Don't show this all to my wife. Please, she'll kill me. She'll make me sell some. There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware Think it's time to stop, children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down All right, guys, what is up? If you are anything like me, you carry a backpack every single day of your life to keep your stuff and things close by. Um, also, if you are anything like me, um, you've got that special form of autism that uh, makes your brain just buzz for a fantastically designed bag. And for the last few uh, months, I've been carrying this Eberly Stock Apprentice um, as an EDC bag, which I do like a lot. I am a big fan of Eberly Stock's um, bags, designs. I like their uh, F1 for a, for a hunting ruck, or which I don't hunt too much, but for a, just a daily workout ruck, it's fantastic. But today I've got a special treat for you today. I have replaced my EDC bag with a new Crossfire Pack CF1. And I know this is not new to you guys. This is just new to me. I'm probably the last YouTuber to do a review on one of these bags, so I promise to keep this quick. I just want to show you some of the down and dirties of the new Crossfire, again, not new to you, new to me, CF1 bag that is uh, that they're making. It is, I think, one of the best designed um, assault size bags or assault bags or, or short duration bags, or if you want the flat style backpack. Um, when I uh, got the CF2, I was thoroughly impressed with how well Crossfire as a, as a company um, designs their backpacks. Everything about them is incredibly well thought out. And one thing they don't do that some other bag companies do is they don't over design pouches with like tiny things like trinket pockets or pin pockets. They're not gonna ever tell you how to use your ruck. All the modifications um, and, and details uh, they put into their rucksack designs are to allow you to use your rucksack in a way that you want to use it. So. We'll be going over stuff like that um, as I go through this bag. So hopefully to keep this quick, guys, you've seen this bag before. It is just kind of a small, very small flat pack style bag. And I'm going to get some stuff out of here quick just that I threw in. And its main feature is this big, what I call like a beaver tail. You'll see something similar to the, uh, this beaver tail design or this like back flap design on like the Eberly Stock Bandit and some other or like a helmet carrier style thing that a lot of other bags put on there or include as an add-on. I would say that this pouch is probably the, one of the main features of this bag. And at first I thought it was really ugly. Um, to be honest with you, I was like, man, this is gonna be flapping on in the wind. That's when I'm not gonna use it, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. But in my experience so far, it cinches down really tight and it looks fine when it's cinched down. It's not like it's, it's not ugly. Um, but even if you don't want to use that, again, Eberly Stock, or not sorry, not Eberly Stock, Crossfire is um, very well thought out. So if you want to remove this thing, it's very simple. All of Crossfire's straps and toggles remove with this very simple little system. Hopefully I can do this with one hand, and it is that easy. You just punch that out through there and pull this strap through that nylon webbing, and then your, uh, your strap is off. You do that three times, once here, and then again, on the bottom, and then you've completely removed your pouch. You notice that it is zippered on here on the sides, and these zippers, every time Crossfire runs into a zipper, they might have a structural zipper, they back it up with this, uh, this webbing with this little toggle through it, and that takes all the stress off this actual zipper, so there's never any risk of this thing pulling apart. Um, and I think that's awesome. Um, some companies really, really, really trust their zippers, and I, really don't. So I love to see that Crossfire is always thinking of these things. They've ran into people with blown out zippers and they don't trust zippers. You shouldn't either. They back them all up with these toggle systems that keeps all the stress off the actual zipper. And I think that is one of the, one of the most chef's kiss design features that Crossfire goes through. And you'll see that stuff and those kind of, those kind of choices made throughout their entire bag. So um, onto this little flap, um, I call it the beaver tail. It does have the lat system on the back and it actually included with this pack, which makes it more versatile to me, is uh, one of their French baguette pouches right here that comes mounted right on the back. Um, I took it off because I wanted to use this pouch specifically on my CF2 and they were sold out of them in Ranger Green. So I am pirating this to my bigger ruck. And I also find that on a day to day, I just don't need this much space. 
This bag actually can carry a lot. Um, one thing that people don't mention a lot, and let me undo these buckles so you can see it better, is on the inside of this beaver tail, if you will, on the inside you've got a couple zippered pouches. You've got a small one up top here. I'm sorry, I'm working with one hand. Uh, you gotta take my word for it. You got a small one up top, and then back here deeper, you've got another one that goes, runs the length of the pouch. So these are kind of like little secret, little trinket pouches, pockets. Um, basically, I say they don't over engineer stuff, but they just give you a, a way to access this in between this nylon and make it useful. So um, also on the front, something they do is they've got a little Velcro field for ID and then a little reflective drop down for night ops or if you just need a ref reflector on your bag. I think that's great. So let's say you did take this beaver tail off and I don't want to because I use mine a lot. It's so big, I throw a coat back there, I throw a jacket back there. You can throw a helmet back there, like a whole pasget or something like that, or a helmet with night vision set up back there. Um, so I'm not gonna take mine off. But as you see, if you do, you run into what is pretty much a very nice small form flat pack. Um, it's not very big at all. I would guesstimate, now without looking, I'd say it's around 15 liters or something like that maybe 20, I doubt it. But on the back as well, you've got lats rows, and then very generously, they include uh, some molly webbing. So if you've got those old molly pouches that you still wanna use, you haven't fully switched over, or you're not a full believer that the lat system is good, which it is, um, you can put molly pouches here. They're, they know that we still got molly pouches, all right? It's completely understandable. And also, molly's still a good platform, and they're not trying to completely replace molly with lats. Um, they just think it's gonna be a, a, a faster, um, and more usable platform for bags and bag interfaces. So they do include molly webbing on the side again, the back and the other side, which is fantastic, as well as some typical stitched webbing up the side, which is an, uh, which is like, looks about two inch spacing. I use this for carabiner loops. Um, so that is the, the flat pack style design. And um, you're gonna run into now two, I call them main pouches, but coming for the one that's most furthest on the outside, this is gonna be a soft line or Velcro line pouch. And I have a bunch of junk in here. Let me just offload it there. And I haven't organized this. I just switched to this bag um, for my EDC not too long ago, and I've just been dragging it around. Um, but as you can see here, a nice big Velcro line, or, or I guess they call it loop line, so you can stick a, a hook pouches or organizers to this anywhere you want or like a holster and as well as this has got an opening in the bottom in case you need to access anything else in the bag you can access the main pouch still from this pouch um why they went with that style i'm not exactly sure i haven't figured out a utility to get down in the main when you've just got another zipper right here but um that bottom velcro just does go back into this pouch that you can access via the top zipper. So again, this is a really generous pouch. This is the soft loop lining, so it won't scratch any optics um, or any glass or sunglasses you carry in there. And then you can put like a pin organizer in there. Um, they leave it open. They don't put the pin organizers in there. They'll sell them to you in Velcro, but they're easy to find. But I love that because they're not telling me how to use this pouch. I can use it for anything I really want. My buddy keeps his snacks in there. Um, on to the main. You'll see what I have in here is just my laptop because I was just at work and I just threw a lot of this stuff over from my Everly stock pouch. But in the main, you're gonna run into just a pretty traditional style backing, except for it's crossfire style. So everything is done very well. Um, they've got this little mesh liner, which most bags have. I've stuffed a water bottle and my glasses in there because I'm blind without them. Um, what you'll notice though at the top is you've got some nice rigidity to this bag. That's because it's got a frame sheet. That's behind this zipper right here. And this uh, zipper gives you access to the frame sheet so you can take it out if you don't want it. Um, it's just a nice rigid piece of plastic with some texture on one side, slick on the other, stitch seams. This is a quality piece still, even though it's hidden deep down in the ruck. Um, that gives you access to this big deep long pouch, which I wouldn't use for really anything. Um, except for that frame thing, but you could hide something in there if you needed that organization. Um, on top, what you're gonna notice here is more of the lats webbing, and that is for, again, an included, I think this is a hydration pouch hanger. I'm not big on hydration pouches if you, if you know my page, um, but so I, I ripped this out, and I think the bag is actually just a little small to keep a hydration pouch in here along with anything else. But if you do want the hydro pouch, 
in your three-day bag or that's the whole reason you're carrying it it comes with one of course and to web these on super simple push it through just like that and just like that oh that one's a little stuffer there we go and then now you've got your hydration pouch hanging right there in your bag um, again, about, I don't know, you have to look at the website, but I'd say about 15 liters of storage in here, not a huge bag, enough to keep a, a change of socks, some water, some Scooby snacks, and some Mission Essential equipment. Um, onto the back though, um, they are routed, by the way, for your hydration hoses up top. Now these are gonna be hard to find. There's two of them, one right there and one right here, because these come up through and behind your nylon webbing where, uh, where, they, where they lash on that beaver tail. So that's where your hydration port hose will come through. And if you don't have a hydration port hose with a quick detach or, or you don't have a way to take your bite valve off, um, you're gonna have a hard time getting that through there, webbing that through. Uh, my buddy just can, told me that from experience. So again, I don't run hydro pouches too often. I just like source water bottles, which slam right down in the sides of this thing and uh, work great. Onto the back, which is another feature rich side, uh, feature reach. They obviously, um, full set of straps, backpack straps, um, belt straps, and a sternum buckle on this, even though this is just a small like backpack. They give you the full Monty of straps on this bag, which I think is great. Um, I immediately took this waist strap off because this bag's so small, I just don't think I'm gonna need that support. Um, I usually burn the sternum straps on these two and just carry with just shoulder straps. But the other cool thing is all these straps are held on with the exact same little nylon toggle webbing system as everything else. And you can completely remove these sets of backpack shoulder straps from this bag. And now you've got, I'm not gonna completely remove it, but now you've got a, a flat pack style it will, this will easily attach to any back of your body armor, your IBA, whatever you're wearing. If you're wearing an LBE or you're wearing a, a, a DZ rig even, um, with a little bit of creativity, um, you can get some mesh webbing um, and just web this right on. Um, and then you've got it permanently attached to the back of your rig, whatever you want to do. I think that's just another perfect little uh, feature they add in to increase usability with this bag. So again, Crossfire bags, this is the CF1. Um, for assault bags, I think this is one of the most feature rich bags you can get. Tons of different ways to use it. Um, I love it a lot. Shout out to Crossfire Packs America out of North Carolina um, for sending this to me. You guys are fucking awesome. So guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope this was no fun at all. Uh, like and subscribe for more.